right, a couple questions for this week leading into uh, the celebration of Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. And these two questions have to do with both of those things. Uh, first of all, is the question about Easter. The word Easter really does come from pagan backgrounds. Not that the concept of modern celebration of Easter does, but the name does. Uh, Easter was a pagan celebration. The church actually wasn't, this is a false accusation against the church. Some people say the church was simply imitating a pagan celebration called Easter. That's not how the word Easter got associated with the resurrection. What happened was a monk identifying Passover time period in the spring said, quote, that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus at the time of the year that is known as Easter. So the monk wasn't endorsing Easter as a pagan holiday. It's no different than someone saying, we celebrate Christmas in December, and that would be somehow some celebration of uh, some pagan worship there. We say, we celebrate uh, uh, some celebration in March. We wouldn't say, well, it's a celebration of Mars, the Roman God, a God, and so it's not that kind of thing. Um, it's just a time of year that it was listed. However, uh, so so anytime the word, this is why the word Easter isn't my preference. My preference is for our church to say Resurrection Day, or we're celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Um, and also, then the question extended from that: What do Easter eggs and Easter bunnies have to do with all that? The answer is virtually nothing. Um, both eggs hatching and bunnies having bunnies uh, are celebrations of life and those kinds of things, but there's nothing at all remotely to do with the resurrection of Jesus. And so if someone wants to hide plastic eggs, it's I guess that's fine, I mean, it's no big deal, but it just has nothing to do with Easter. There's nothing connected to it at all. Um, and so probably uh, the best thing for the church to do is to use a different term, Resurrection Day. Uh, if the church uh, wants to celebrate some special things around that, it's fine. But I would be really careful about making that the emphasis over the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So in short, Easter was a pagan holiday. Uh, in short, the early church in Europe, well, medieval church in Europe, called it Easter because a monk referred to the celebration of Passover and the Resurrection Day, that Sunday following Passover, as happening at the time of Easter. And over time, it just took on the name Easter. Uh, so that's an unfortunate connection, frankly. Uh, so we as a church, a lot of times we we'll refer to it as the Resurrection Day or Resurrection Celebration Sunday. Uh, and so I think that hopefully that answers the question about the celebration of Easter and then in terms of eggs and bunnies just has nothing to do with it all right thanks see you guys on Sunday all right question from this Sunday night why is Good Friday called good uh, the answer is it's kind of an interesting thing because the crucifixion of Jesus Christ is simultaneously the worst event in human history and simultaneously the greatest event in human history so on the negative side, you have God himself walking among his creatures, and the response of humanity is to kill him because we want to be the God of ourselves. We don't want to answer to him. The flip side of that is that God also took that as his preordained plan to take all those rebellious sinners and offer them eternal life despite their rebellion and killing of God's own son. And so we refer to it as Good Friday because on Good Friday, historically, the church has celebrated that as the day Christ was crucified. Now, it's good because of the eternal salvation that is brought uh, through that act. However, most churches celebrate it in a more somber way as opposed to, say, Christmas or Easter, or well, Easter, Resurrection Sunday, uh, that the good in it is the good that happened because of it. And so uh, the term, it took on Good Friday because of the good that happened to humanity 2,000 years ago on the Friday of uh, Passover weekend. And so historically, the church has assumed that Jesus was crucified on a Friday and laid in the tomb and resurrected on Sunday. And so that's why uh, it's referred to as Good Friday. That's where it gets its name. Um, 
Yeah, so, but it's a weird thing because it's simultaneously also the most terrific event in human history because of the incredible evil, the greatest evil ever done was the killing not of an innocent person, but an absolutely holy and perfect person at the hands of people who are in the midst of killing him for political, moral expedience. Thus, the same rebellion that exists in all of our hearts. And so the, uh, there is great evil that happens there. And it shows how God can take incredible evil and trials and difficulties and even redeem those and turn them into something that is, in fact, good. Good Friday. All right. See you guys on Sunday night.